it's too early for this. Oh. It's 7 a.m. on a bank holiday weekend and we go away parts. We're in the Lake District. Great! Um, I probably sound groggy because I just woke up about half an hour ago. Um, can I just lie here? <laughs> I'm pretty knackered if I'm honest, but I'm buzzing. So we're going up Blencathra today, which is one of the lake's best known mountains. Um, it's a Wainwright, so it's a classic. Lots of folk come up here and there's, there's a bazillion different routes you can do. One of which is via Sharp Edge. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I've got a route mapped out that's about eight and a half miles. There's loads of different places you could start. You could start down in Threkeld. Threkeld. Um, I'm just here on the side of the road. There's a few pull-ins. Once you sort of get out of Keswick and stuff, it's like, woo, don't have to pay for parking. <laughs> Um, although I am just going to check that while so I'm here. Uh, yeah, and then um, so I'm going to loop up, get to the top, bosh, and uh, loop back around. So Blencathra actually, um, its name means sort of seated mountain or mountain that looks like a seat. And uh, it's, yes, yeah, fine, just take your little home. Uh, it's, it's so true, you know, you drive along on the A66 and it's overshadowing you and it does look like a giant seat of the gods. Um, you know, I've often said it looks like this grassy mound, but the truth is there are quite a few sharper edges to it. Do not be deceived. So let's see how we go today. I'm just going to finish packing, get some boots on and I'll uh, head up the mountain. These are my snacks. Banana, waffle, apple. The trail is always an opportunity to eat your waffle. I'm quite excited about that. Bosh. Quarter past seven. Fish bash bosh. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> We're going up there, people. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving the road behind. So I could have followed on to Scales Farm. There's a, I think a pub there. Uh, there's loads of parking down there as well. But had my little wee spot on the road. And now I'm heading up to just join the path. I'm gonna contour for a bit before we begin the ascent. Which is nice, because I feel like I need to warm up. The A66 had been noisy and dusty, so it felt good to quickly escape into the relative peace the of the mountains, with birdsong and barring sheep all around. I passed by a turning to the White Horse Inn, offering a bunkhouse and warm meals for hungry hikers. As you can see, we've been gaining height, just following the wall. This is Scales Fell here, just above us, and we are sort of looping, looping around it. I have to admit, it's one of those classic, almost alpine mornings, <laughs> just because it's hazy. It's pretty warm. <laughs> Jacket is coming off as soon as I hit that junction. I'm definitely feeling my sleep fatigue. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's been an emotional few days. So this is cool, we've got this path here. It heads right up, so that goes up to Hall's Fell Top, which is actually the highest point on Blencathra, I believe. So, I'm not gonna take that one, but that's another route if you wanna bypass Sharp Edge. I absolutely do not want to bypass Sharp Edge. So let's keep going. Just very gradually climbing as we skirt around Scales Fell. So here, still looking down on the uh, other path, which I've already worked out to sweat, sweat out my tiredness. <laughs> this is a very path riddled mountain. There's just paths everywhere, it's ridiculous. It's cool um, in the fact that it makes it accessible. I think some routes are literally three kilometers to the top. I mean, that's decent, hey? But at the same time, there's stuff for folk who want a bit more of a challenge. Like me, 
Were they waking up was the challenge. <laughs> oh. No, I'm good, I'm good. Wee bit of a scramble, or not. <laughs> Just a slab. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm feeling quite excited. Round in the corner now. And <laughs> there we go. The spikiness of this mountain lies before us. But uh, it's cool because we're going to be picking up Scales Beck, following the valley, heading up to Scales Tarn, and then we begin our attack on the ridge. The air was still in the valley, silent now except for the sound of the beck down below. I was in good spirits, plodding along and already feeling truly humbled by the experience. I feel real high right now, just so good, so alive. I love, 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 love being in the mountains. Just endless opportunities, not just for adventure, whoops, but for personal growth, for challenge and pushing yourself, oneself, myself. Especially in terms of keeping a straight line with my foot, so that's not happening either. <laughs> it wasn't long before I rounded the corner and felt a twinge of nerves alongside the excitement. There, ahead of me, dominating the skyline, was Sharp Edge, one of the most famous scrambles in the area. Here we are, can you see that? Scales back, half going up alongside it. Progress is being made, people. And just up there, that's where the town will be sat. Tarn, we made it. It was a very fulfilling experience. This amphitheatre of rock just fringing this body of water. Oh, jeez. I wore myself out with my excitement. <laughs> anyway, if I were to abandon ship right now, I could because, yes, going right takes us up to Scramble, which is the whole point of me being here. And let's be honest, it's not a long one. Or I can go left up this path you see here, which is much more mellow and placid and uh, it's really nice because you can look down over the, the ridge. Jeez, I'm sweating, man. Time to drink something. And then let's tackle this climb. Buzzing. <laughs> Scales Tarn was a calm and beautiful place and comes highly recommended as a picnic spot if ever you need one. From there though, I hardly paused, knowing that forwards was the only way to go. On to Sharp Edge itself. Look at this, getting a full view opening up. So again, you can bypass this by following this path, coming up this way. And here we are at the foot of this mighty beast. Bring it on. That's what I've got to say. I have to put my stick away. But I think we're going to be good. See this? It's just a rolling greeny brown landscape. It's uh, almost like the other side of Skiddor. Anyway, this bit's not rolling and green. I don't know how I've ended up down here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here or not. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> I think I want to cut up there actually. Oh, hello path. You are my friend. I am now following you. <laughs> I want some air people. You are a good path, eh? Good puffy. <laughs> so 
so far so good. Let's have a look. Getting some views down over Skiers Town again. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Spectacular. Oh, Jesus is a cool mountain. I was finding myself increasingly lost for words as I climbed ever higher, my surroundings taking my breath away and the route requiring my full concentration. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Epic! So epic! <laughs> wow! So good. Just don't want to sit down there. <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad there's not a lot of snow. Uh, if you don't like heights, this is not the walk for you. Cool, doing good. And then looking back, pretty spectacular. Oh jeez, looks like we're nearly there. I'm not ready to be there yet. No way, I could literally do this all day. How are we nearly there? I refuse to be nearly there. I'll go back down and do it again. Jeez, just a mind blow. Very, very humbled right now. I'm grateful for you landscape. You're amazing. All right, let's get to the top. The final leg to the summit was really quite level and made for easy walking, with well earned views to the east. I have to say, I can't believe that's it. Um, not that I'm disappointed, but I was nowhere near as hard as I expected it to be. A really, really good fun, just a bit too short. <laughs> Bring on Kriv Gok next. Just head out to Snowdonia. That's sort of my final ridge scramble to take on. If you're interested in uh, uh, Helvellyn by Striding Edge and Swirl Edge, definitely check out that video which I've done. Anyway, here we go. Looking back down over the route. Decent, eh? I just uh, wanted to stop a bit before I reach the top. There's a big stream of people coming up. Just like that, I'm having a bit of a wobble. <laughs> just feel my uh, mental space is flickering a bit. I think because it's literally nine o'clock, I'm going to reach the top and then obviously I've got to loop back around and I struggle with empty space. I struggle with the days, I'm trying to fill them, you know, but it's not a problem. I'll get by. What is this peak and is this the top? Ordnance survey.
For 9am, the summit was impressively busy, with walkers having ascended from the various paths all around. The summit is actually known as Horsfell Top, and there was a small circular stone placed on the ground by Ordnance Survey to mark the point. Of course, I stopped to eat my waffle and take it all in, ridge after ridge, summit after summit. It was just mind-bogglingly beautiful. It's uh, quite fresh up here, actually, especially when you've sweated all the way up. We've got these fantastic views over Skidor, a very friendly mountain, I tend to say. If you head up from Keswick with Little Man, Lon Scale Fell, again, check out that video if you'd like to scout that one out. It's just everything is so hazy. I'm still just like, what is this? Am I in a dream? <laughs> We can see from this vantage point then, the finger-like structure of Blencathra. So we have one ridge, two ridge, three ridge, four ridge. Of course, we've come up number five. We could see number six. It's just ridges. And then we have this bowl in the center with Skiddor behind. It's a vast old land, this. Almost here, at least, feels like Scotland. But then you look out and you're like, nope, it's the Lake District. <laughs> I could see across to Thirlmuir Reservoir and Derwent Water, and below lay a model village of Lakeland Valleys. I had a hard job taking it all in. Here we go, just beginning to drop down now. Amazing views over Derwent Water, Cat Bells, Maiden Moor, even if it is through the haze. Through the path switch backing all the way down we can either take that route or that route let's have a look when we get there the descent was quick and easy though a little steep if you're not a fan of going downhill from there it really wasn't long before i was on the last leg contouring around the base of the bulky mountainside crossing over endless waterfalls and bubbling brooks it made for truly magical walking So enjoyed the climb getting up to the top. It didn't even take me an hour and a half. So that was amazing. Um, with filming as well. I, I just, it's just given me a bit of a kick um, and an affirmation of my abilities, which I've needed and what I'm comfortable with more than anything. So that feels really good. Um, I think I had a bit of a wobble at the top. Well, I did have a wobble at the top. I don't know why, but it happened. That's the joy of mental health. It comes with you everywhere but I still stand by what I said earlier on the walk, that the mountains are my happy place. You know, if I can just get myself out the door, no matter the weather, I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna tap into who I am. And my goal is to always bring a little bit of this person back out there <laughs> when I'm doing day-to-day -day life. The mountains help me do that. You know, they help me breathe deeper into my body. They help me calm and excite all at once. So it's been a really good walk. Thank you for watching guys you know i really hope that you have been inspired just as a reminder that no matter your mental space your physical space there are adventures to be had for you you know don't allow yourself to just dream but to to look at the steps that you can take to get yourself to those places if you need community welcome you're in one uh, this is a wild community and you're very 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 welcome here so reach out connect ask for help and never stop believing all right, guys, heading back to the car. Until next time, enjoy your adventures and stay wild. I'll see you soon. Who knew this was here?
I'm genuinely confused how I get down here. This is like a really slippy rock. It's all been eroded away. Um, I'm just going to have to take this really, really carefully, I think. Oh, jeez, it's flipping slippy. <laughs> I don't trust that footing right there, but I'm going to have to. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so far so good. I think that's the worst of it. That's just big, and because it's so slippy, excuse me, stick. <clears throat> this I can do. I'm not worried about this. Oh, jeez. No, expect that. Just thrown in the mix. Oh. Let's go. Definitely a good reward, though. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello, waterfall stretch was very entertaining. I was like, oh, geez, there is no grip. I'm going to slip and fall. The optimism. <laughs> anyway, all good. Literally, you can see the car now. A couple hundred meters. Bosh. Skadoosh. Kapow. As my brother says, ping.